Jim Holly, Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. You see the number one plate of Ryan Dungey there. This is the new team manager at the Rockstar Makita Suzuki team. That's Mike Webb. Mike, uh, you feeling the pressure, man? I mean, I know you had great success on the off-road side, but now you're in the Supercross motocross side. Well, um, it's been building up, but I, I think it, I'm going to be okay. Um, we're ready. We've done our homework. we got everything in place. It's kind of up to the boys to do their job now, so but we'll see what happens. You know, i got to ask, I heard th through the grapevine that uh, one of your engine guys left, you know, over he was building the motors, but he went somewhere else to Chad Reed's team. How do you, how do you deal with something like that as a manager? Actually, we brought in our resources from Japan. Uh, we brought in the engineers that actually designed the motors and the electronics. Um, so we feel uh, we're covered there. Um, it's all good. Our bike's good. Our, our spec is good for both Medi and Ryan, and uh, we're comfortable. We're ready. Do you tell something like that to, to uh, Ryan Dungey? And the reason why I'm asking this question about Dungey is because of the fact that Ian Harrison left, Roger DeCoster left. You're on board. Not that you're not a great manager, but you know he's thinking, man, all, all my team's kind of leaving. I only got Mike Gosser, who's my original mechanic. He's here. Do you tell a guy like that, hey, man, we lost the motor guy, but don't worry, the manager that I am, I'm calling Japan. I'm getting one of the head Japanese engineers over here. That's exactly what I did. You know, uh, you're always presented with a situation you're possibly not ready for, but uh, thankfully we tapped in the resources of Japan, uh, as well as the uh, road racing support uh, that we, or the road racing technology we get from the Oshimura, we brought over an electronics guy from there. So I've actually surrounded myself with the top guys in the field, and I told Ryan that, and he's, he's good with it. All right, you heard it from Mike Webb. Now, if you haven't heard of the Webb name, this is a family tradition the webs Tom Webb uh, editor at dirt bike uh, magazine when I was racing I've known this guy since I was racing in the early days. as a matter of fact this guy owes me anytime I need an interview this guy can dive me in because we went out on a blind date and he was the guy that I had to bring along and he says Jim I hate blind dates they came walking up to my house and they he had the best girl that I've ever seen and he was having look at the smile on his face yeah I remember it <laughs> I do owe you all right, well, you heard it from Mike Webb. Anything I needed Suzuki, he can get it handled for me. Good luck tonight. Thanks, Jimmy.